updates artificial intelligence february 7th our regular weekly updates and uh, today a lot of topics but of course it's uh, many updates related to deep seek and we are at the beginning of a big wave where combining reason, uh, reasoning models uh, like DeepSeek, and there are now so many models doing the same thing, uh, plus uh, tools or agents. And as a result, we have a system which can perform tasks reasonably, practically. So this is basically AGI, right? So first, uh, we'll talk about uh, DeepSeek uh, related uh, things. And uh, we'll start with uh, uh, new uh, multiple reasoning models and services uh, like mushrooms appearing everywhere. We're talking about uh, Chinese and uh, American and European. So Quen, OpenAI, Google, Perplexity, uh, uh, Microsoft Copilot with OpenAI reasoning model. So there is a button now, think deeper. <laughs> Microsoft offers DeepSeek on Copilot and PC, right? So this is from Humanity Last Exam, uh, which is a recently created test, which is supposed to be very difficult for models. And uh, you, you see the recent progress. They already went to 13 with O1 Mini, actually. Uh, there was a claim that one model came up to 26, but on the website itself, I, I don't see 26, I see only 13, but still it's, it's a huge progress in just like about 10 days. Um, I really like this graph from this LinkedIn post, uh, and uh, it shows uh, how performance grows on a particular test, and you see it's kind of exponential uh that, that's uh, what what we see here very fast growth now multiple uh reasoning models so r for reason and uh, the way they work it is basically test time compute uh, giving ai model extra time to think and the people say it's the most important breakthrough since transformers which was in 2016-17 at google and again, reasoning, uh, which is basically a uh, um, chain of thought, right? Uh, uh, chain of thought also comes from Google, right? So these are some links uh, discussing how it shapes uh, the future. And there are so many examples of reasoning models. It's absolutely ridiculous. So here are several examples. This is S1, simple test time scaling for just $6, right? So uh, they uh, tweaked uh, Quen 2.532B instruct, right? And for just $6, uh, dollars, uh, and this is a short description of what they were doing. Uh, this is another open source um, R1.V replicate reasoning for just $3 on a small 2 billion parameter model. And this is only for STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, uh, type of field uh, but still this shows the promise how you can make a small model for specific field and make it good um, yet another work from berkeley so this is a from phd student from berkeley for 30 dollars uh, reproduced the deep seek uh, r10 in countdown game again small model three billion parameters uh, but again, it's uh, open source. You see a GitHub, you see the article. Uh, and th uh, there are some other good links like fine tuning LLM to think like DeepSeek R1, open source reasoning implementation, speculations on test time scaling, uh, open one uh, new paradigm test time compute explained. And uh, uh, okay. Um, so you probably just when you just Google, you see many examples of this model popping up. Uh, what's amazing how in just a couple of weeks, you see huge improvements, overwhelming improvements in the quality of the models around the world. And on the other side, prices are going down, right? So more about DeepSeek. Uh, DeepSeek R1 gave itself a two times speed boost. So they were prompting uh, deep seek to improve the code and uh, like two times improving in, in speed achieved so it's very good uh, restrictions on using deep seek in us uh, it's not banned but certain agencies mostly around government uh, navy military 
they are concerned about using Chinese model. Uh, DeepSeq uh, is very easy to jailbreak. In fact, uh, people have almost 100% uh, success at jailbreaking it. So it's not safe. Uh, okay, this is the uh, founder of uh, DeepSeq. What's his name is Liang Wenfeng. And he says that China AI will stop following US. And uh, he is calling for uh, supporting making strong uh, ecosystem for AI in China itself. Uh, Sam Altman says open AI is on the wrong side of history and needs new open source strategy. So this was at the Ask Me Anything session at Reddit, Amy A, Ask Me Anything. So this is from Twitter, I think. Uh, this is very good. Andre Karpathy posted on Twitter and he explains that uh, when you train the model uh, on a big data set, this is like using a textbook which has a lot of examples. And uh, models now can, off the top of its head, kind of give the answer based on all this information, but it doesn't know how to approach problem solving, right? So uh, in real school, you give people, uh, students textbook, but you also teach them how to solve the problem step by step. And this is what this new reasoning approach does. So he says, uh, you see, we've subjected LLMs to a ton of one and two, but three is a nascent emerging frontier. When we're creating data sets for LLM, it's no different from writing textbooks for them with the three types of data they have to read and they have to practice. So this reinforcement learning is basically practice and it's very easy to edit. Like in the simple, simple example, you just add it to the prompt as an example when answering the question, answer it using like chain of thought, answer it using this step or step of uh, approach and immediately you already have improvement, right? And if you train the model a little bit, maybe give it like thousand examples, uh, then of course it becomes much better. I, I want to remind you this uh, situation we had in September where these uh, two guys proposed the model. So what they did, they fine-tuned uh, Llama 70B, right? And uh, it was reflection tuning, recycling data for better instruction tuning, similar to what's happening here, but they, they got very good results, kind of thinking reflection and uh, People didn't believe it, right? They were accused of fraud and they had to spend like two months uh, proving that they didn't do anything wrong, that it's not fraud, uh, but people didn't pay much attention to this. But now when Chinese did it and, and when they put it in open source, and this is bigger model, much bigger model, like 10 times bigger model, and it actually beating the top model from uh, OpenAI, uh, now people like woke up and like <laughs> stock market lost trillion dollars and whatever, but it's all the same theme. You're adding reflection, you're adding uh, reasoning to the model and it's not difficult to do. In their ca case, they did it like uh, not the weekend, but the whole project was like three weeks, right? So it was a very short project. Okay, uh, next part of today's presentation, talking about OpenAI, Microsoft, uh, and Google Gemini, and deep research models. So uh, OpenAI released some new models, uh, O3 Mini. Uh, they promised uh, O3 uh, and O3 Mini in December, so O3 Mini already a reality. You see my screen here, uh, and uh, this is a paid $20 a month uh, subscription. Uh, to OpenAI and you see O3 Mini and O3 Mini High, great for coding and logic, right? So uh, they also uh, released the OpenAI Deep Research, which people really, really love. But in order to get access to it, you need to have a pro subscription, which is $200 a month. So I don't have it, I haven't tried it, but there are examples on YouTube where people show how it works and it's absolutely amazing. So you ask a question, it goes online, it uh, collects all the information and it writes reports with links, references on, literally on a PhD level. So th 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 this is great. Um, 
what's interesting that Gemini, uh, Google Gemini also have a deep research product, which they released in December. Now they have a new version of it, which is even better. And some people compare them and they have pros and cons uh, like a, a Gemini product because it's Google, it can collect more information, but OpenAI is better at structuring it and uh, provide like m maybe more useful reports. Uh, so OpenAI O1 Mini, so now we have O3 Mini, OpenAI Deep Research, Microsoft Copilot uh, now has a button called Think Deeper, and it's actually powered by O1 model, which is uh, the top model from OpenAI. Uh, also, uh, Microsoft now offers the DeepSeq R1 through their Azure Cloud, so it's now part of Azure Foundry. Uh, Azure Foundry has uh, close to 2,000 models, uh, so Microsoft is all in into, into this. Uh, next is uh, Google Gemini, so they released uh, Family uh, version 2, and you see there are multiple models, Flash, Flash Thinking Experimental, Flash Thinking Experimental with applications, which means like Maps, Search, YouTube, uh, Pro Experimental, and these are the, well, quote, quote, all the models, which is 1.5, Pro and Flash. Uh, so this is the next generation. Context length, 1 million tokens. And uh, yeah, so, so, so it's a very good upgrade. Uh, deep research. So both OpenAI and Gemini uh, made uh, deep research versions. It's basically agentic. Uh, workflow on top of the current best models. Uh, but there are also uh, open source implementations of the same idea. So, and these are some links, and you see they're all GitHub, uh, open uh, deep research, open deep researcher, open deep research by Firecrawl, deep research by uh, Gina AI. Okay, I will not go deeper, but you can follow the links. Next, uh, miscellaneous uh, updates, and these are some updates. So, Andrei Karpathy uh, put a 3.5 hour video on YouTube where he talks about LLMs, chat GPT, like how these models work. I love his videos. I watched all of them. Some of them are one hour, even two hours long. And uh, yes, like I, I, I haven't watched this one, but I absolutely will because all his videos are very good. Anthropic classifiers reduce uh, jailbreaks. So these are uh, uh, coming from Anthropic. They uh, explain how they reduce jailbreaks. Uh, OpenAI ChatGPT search is now available to anyone for free without login. Microsoft Think Deeper in Copilot, I already told about it. It's also free for all users. Uh, Figure AI drops OpenAI. So Figure AI is a company in the US which um, develops robots. I think the value is like $1.5 billion now, or maybe more. And OpenAI was the major investor. But now they decided to stop using OpenAI models and instead using the models which they develop internally, which is like an interesting twist. Uh, Elicit.com, automate research, summarizing papers, extracting data, synthesizing your findings. Uh, so uh, there are a free plan, but also there are pay, paid plans. Um, yeah, but well, it's good if you need to. Uh, well, you, you can use deep research, but you can also use uh, this uh, service. Uh, Chat GPT in education, uh, OpenAI partnering with California State University. Before it was Arizona and, and some other places. So more and more states are getting into using AI in the education. WARP, an efficient multi-vector retrieval engine for faster and scalable search coming from Stanford Berkeley. Okay, next is uh, Crowdsource Arena and Jobs. So this is Arena updated uh, two days ago on the 5th of uh, February. And what do we see? Well, first of all, you see on the top, red is Google Gemini and yellow is OpenAI and green is open source. So you see DeepSeq R1 is pretty high on both English only queries and coding, right? 
my uh, Claude, here is Claude, and uh, it's not even getting into uh, top uh, selections for English queries, but in coding it is here. You see a lot of models from China on both. Llama uh, 4 5 b is all the way down here. <laughs> so they haven't upgraded their models. And you see, this was the, like one of the top models a few months ago, but now it's down. Uh, what, what else do we have? Uh, DeepSeek, se several versions. Uh, I still using Claude a lot, uh, but maybe I should st start trying using DeepSeek R1 because it's available from multiple places. Okay, uh, next. Uh, well, about jobs, uh, meta uh, slashing $3.6,000, workday one point. So uh, th there are some cuts, uh, there are stop uh, hiring uh, in software areas. Um, Google uh, offers a voluntary exit to all US employees uh, who wants uh, to go away and they give them severance. So instead of uh, forcing people, they offer people uh, go away voluntarily. Okay, and you see the February just started, but there are already uh, some uh, layoffs. So th this, this is happening. Okay, this is me and thank you.